The Consumer Electronics Show, or CES, is still going strong in Las Vegas. Almost 4,500 exhibitors from around the world are showcasing the latest trends in innovation and the future of tech. Well, CGTN's Edis Tianshan joins us live from the shop floor for a wrap of day two. Edis, take it away. Well, it is still in full swing here in Las Vegas as we've been seeing tens of thousands of visitors touring this gigantic convention center. And I don't even know if it's humanly possible to actually check out every single company that's here because we're talking about some 4,500 uh, companies representing uh, the gaming, health, cosmetics, transportation, entertainment, and many other industries. And they're all obviously displaying some of the most cutting-edge technology that they've attained. Uh, many of these gadgets are better connected, that are better capable than ever before. Now, one interesting trend that we've also noticed is that just like the previous years, many of our gadgets are getting smaller and smaller. And that's uh, partly thanks to the advanced technology that now allows us to produce smaller sensors and smaller batteries. Now, we've, we noticed that uh, many of the Chinese tech companies are also playing a big role in that regard. My colleague, Mark, Mark New, has that story. At CES, sensors are getting so portable, they can now even be used on a baby's diaper. We have developed a proprietary algorithm that will know like when to detect, when the diaper is wet. A great deal of innovation at the show is coming from Chinese tech companies. At a CES special event called China Tech First Look, Chinese companies take center stage. Uh, Vietnam is widely used in driver, uh, travelers. Vehicles. Sometimes surprises come in small packages, like the e-bike Small Circle. What is the Small Circle? Small Circle is the world's lightest and smallest foldable electric bike in the world. It's good for the last mile and the first mile transportation. In seconds it unfolds. Feel a uniquely designed bike that weighs just under 11 kilograms. The battery serves as the seat and it's got some kick, uh -huh. hitting speeds of up to 48 kilometers per hour. Wow. Chinese computer maker Lenovo unveiled 40 products at CES, including reintroducing the Motorola Razor flip phone, which now has a bendable OLED screen. And that same OLED screen technology is incorporated into the ThinkPad X1 Fold. Lenovo has created the world's first foldable PC. It took engineers four years to create this flexible hinge, which allows it to fold seamlessly without any crease. The OLED technology is coming to the point where you really can build products with foldable screens. But you have to put a lot of engineering into the hinges so the product really has the durability to do this tens of thousands of times. And ultimately the foldable device gives you multiple modes, in a book mode, in a dual screen mode, in a full screen mode, where you really can work very productively. Lenovo also unveiled another first, a laptop that actually has a screen right on the cover. It's all part of the drive to create new form factors that allow users to stay connected in ways they never thought before. Bark New, CGTN, Las Vegas. And with that report, you can only imagine that with these small sensors and batteries, it seems there will be an infinite number of ways in which these gadgets could be incorporated into our daily lives. And Ed, as we hear that earlier you went diving, tell us about that. Exactly. While Mark was busy with the technical side of things, I actually uh, got to take a look at how the entertainment world was changing uh, thanks to the latest technology, and I actually had a blast. Now, my first stop was one of the drone companies called Subblue. Now, unlike uh, some of the drones that fly these days that everyone's using, now they are uh, making available to the average consumer a drone that goes under the water. And it's very interesting because the technology itself is a new, but many Many people might not have used it before. It is a fascinating experience. I got my wetsuit on and dived into that water tank and I got to try one of these gadgets with uh, the high speed mode. It can actually take you a few meters in a matter of seconds. Now, um, you don't have to be a professional diver. Even if you're just a free diver or even if you're in a swimming pool, you can still use that. You can actually put lights on the drone to explore the space under the surface. You can put a camera uh, to film your environment or yourself. There is an 
infinite uh, amount of options and it seems these things will be only more available down the line in many different holiday resorts and it'll just be another entertainment option for us. Now a second stop I made was in that section where there are so many companies these days that are producing glasses that have the augmented reality technology also called the AR glasses. Now one of the companies called Unreal Glass uh, was actually developed this uh, 3D software that connects to your phone and through that glass while you are perfectly seeing your environment you are seeing an additional layer of screen almost like a hologram uh, you can show the menu on your phone you can open up any of the applications you want and the good thing is you're no longer limited to the screen of your phone you can actually have multiple screens as big as you like as close to you as you like in your entire surrounding and that allows you to multitask and one more feature that I really liked about it is that with more people using the same glasses around you they can put it on and they could see the same screens with you they could just have that one big screen where you could feel like you're all watching a cinema now that seems uh, it will be one of the products that might be available to larger crowds down the line and it really seems it is so useful and productive that I can see many more people using that in the near future just one last stop I made that was very interesting is the Segway scooters um, and that is a known scooter company but the latest model they have is a self-balancing sit-down scooter and it's quite slick looking um, and it has the technology that allows you to use not just a joystick but it has a pop-up tablet that you can use to actually control the device um, it, it can go pretty fast but you can also uh, use it you know in your own pace the interesting part about that is they're already planning to use that uh, in places like this in convention centers in shopping malls and airports and I could totally see how the given given the current demands and needs that kind of a device could pretty soon become popular in many places. Now just mind you that all of these companies that I visited uh, turned out to be based in China and that really gives you the idea that China these days as, uh, as much as other fields in the sector of entertainment as well they are pretty present and dominant in the sector here in CES. Alright, thank you so much for all that. It is Tian Chan there at CES in Las Vegas.